Hey guys, this is Scott from Sounds Good Stereo. Wanted to take you around. We got this uh, 2020 Ford Raptor. We got a whole bunch of goodies, man. Big stereo upgrade. We got some custom A pillars up here. We got factory radio, which is always a good thing to keep in some of these newer vehicles. We got a custom amp rack with a whole bunch of gear. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys to the seat here. Let's get this up. And we got custom Raptor subwoofer enclosure. So it's got four six and a halfs in it. You guys want to take a ride with us and see how we got there. Check in, stay tuned, and uh, come do these videos with us. What's up guys? We're uh, checking in with you guys today. We got a cool project we're gonna be putting together. We got this 2020 Raptor. Be doing a full system in this thing with some three ways up front, doing some A pillars, four six and a halfs under the rear seat, and uh, just making it awesome. We're gonna go ahead and get this Raptor going. I'm gonna get a power supply hooked up on the battery here, and then uh, we're gonna try to go ahead and get this thing pulled apart. We got uh, doing some cool stuff in this one. This is a project we kind of been waiting for. We're excited to do. We got um, some flax three ways going in here from Focal. We're going to build some A pillars and do some treatment in the front doors, build some custom adapters up there. We have a amp board we're going to be doing. We got uh, three Focal FDP amplifiers going in here. Uh, Moscone 8 to 12 DSP. I think an 8 to 12, either an 8 to 12 or a 6 to 8. But, um, yeah, let me put you guys up here. So what we're going to do first is just get some power connected to this thing. Need to find. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get it all protected, gutted, and start doing some work. I think the first thing we're going to do is pull the doors off it, just see what kind of adapters we're looking like. And then uh, from there, we're going to get some cabling done. We're gonna have to do some signal analysis. We have a, uh, a piece from Nav TV. It's their Zen module for this truck. that's supposed to work with the Bang & Olufsen system. Should give us some pretty clean signal in here, which is definitely kind of important. And uh, so we're gonna kind of go through some of those things today. Uh, box for this one is gonna be really, really cool. Sage is gonna throw down on that. Uh, might not get into that today, but we're gonna see where we end up. He's definitely gonna get some things set up. But um, let's see what we got. Cool. All right, we got some juice. Let me get you guys set up. We're going to pull the doors apart, uh, see what we're looking like there. This one uh, has a factory two-way in it, so I'm pretty sure there's a 6x9 back here. So we're going to build those adapters. Eight pillars are going to be a little tricky in this one. Um, we'll get into those. We'll talk about them more as we get there. But, um, yeah, we're going to run some cables in here. We got a pretty sure tweeters are tied into the deck, so we're going to run some tweeter wires and get everything situated. But, uh yeah, we're gonna make this thing sounds good awesome so you guys stick with us All right, guys, we're checking in. Let's uh, catch up on where we're at. So we got all the doors off this thing. 
He's got Zach here prepping the doors, getting us all ready for some treatment. We're gonna do a full treatment package in these front doors like we always do. Um, all the sill panels, B pillars, all that stuff's been removed. We've got bolts taken out for the back seat. We're gonna have to get the back seat out of there to start looking at our amp rack. Uh, let's see. So again, this side just the same. So again, got all this stuff stripped down. Probably gonna do a little more basic treatment in the rear as it's just rear fill. We don't need anything super major back there, but we are gonna address it. And then, uh, let's see, kind of give you guys an idea on these front doors. So front doors, we're gonna do our normal treatment package. Um, we're gonna do exterior skin here, complete coverage, interior skin. We've got some adapters we're making for these. And we're actually gonna spend a little bit of time a little later in this video to go over some of the other adapters we have available for these Ford trucks. Um, and then we are gonna have, we're gonna do a baffle over the opening here, just like we do with the service access and stuff. And part of the packages we have for this truck, we're actually gonna have those available uh, for sale on the website and stuff. So we'll put some links in that later. Um, we did get the A pillars out. We started addressing what we're gonna do with these pillars and stuff. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and take some measurements, get our treatment pre-cut. And while Zach's prepping everything, we'll go ahead and cut it over on the bench and uh, we'll get running. This one's gonna be a little tricky. There's a lot of stuff to cut around on this door here, but uh, shit, we got that. So, all right, check back with you here in a bit. So we pre-cut all of our sound treatment stuff here. So we're gonna go ahead and go into <laughs> super fast YouTube mode and get this stuff laid out. So uh, here we go.
All right, guys. So we got our other door treated here. All four of these are completely treated. Again, just like normal, we got the outside skin, the inside skin. We'll treat some of the back of the panel and stuff where necessary. Um, we're ready for our speaker adapters and our baffles. So we're gonna go sneak up on Sage and see what he's doing in the wood shop. Sneak up, see if we can catch him off guard. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Burner, creeping. Burner. What the fuck is going on? Burner, 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 burner. <laughs> sea sage, sea sage work. What you doing, buddy? Building speaker boxes for Range Rovers. Range Rover boxes. Range Rover Sport behind the panel stealth boxes. From our previous video. Hint, hint, nose, nose. Know what I mean? <laughs> What's this one getting? And radiator from Audio Mobile. So same thing we did in the last Range Rover. Yeah. And this one's getting shipped. This one's getting shipped. Terminal cup. So they can hook it up. Mounting points. Awesome. So, and then oh, this one's getting a... Customer had a 13 TW5 from JL. So we're trying to fit it in the box. Awesome. Wish me luck. And then we got some speaker adapters. Yeah, then we're going to do speaker adapters <laughs> for the Ford. Yeah, all of our treatment's done and stuff, so yeah. I'm going to start cabling. I'm going to do some 8-inch uh, speaker adapters for the new Ford platform. Work on that, make sure a lot of different 8s fit. And then we're going to do actually 6.5-inch vocals on adapters. For our flax? For our flax. Yep. yep. Awesome. Yeah, we'll put some links in this stuff. Like I said, all this stuff is always available on our channel. So, our website, the whole shebang. So, all right, well, we're just bugging Sage. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna start doing some cabling. That'll probably be in our next video. Um, we gotta run some Ock gauge power and ground in this truck. Uh, these new Ford trucks, and a lot of trucks actually, we actually run um, power and ground from the battery. Uh, these new chassis just are not good ground points, so it's always best practice to kind of run a ground in here as well. Plus the nav TV module that we have going in here, the uh, Zen ATB or A2B. Um, it's very, very important that that unit has a good ground. Um, so cabling this thing, we're actually going to run these cables outside the truck when we get to it. So it's commonly how we do these. We run these out, run them down with the frame rail. They get treated like factory cabling. Um, and then we actually punch some holes in the back to get them in and we do power ground distribution in the back. So we're going to get running on that stuff and yeah, we'll wait on some baffles and adapters, and we're going to keep on trucking here. So we're on a tight deadline with this one, so we're just going to keep moving. So you guys stay with us.